Hello everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a horse head from a front viewpoint. I have done several videos on how to draw horse heads from a profile viewpoint, so if you'd like to check those out, I'll leave those in the description box below or a link to those at the end of this video. First, I would really strongly suggest that if you haven't drawn a lot of horse heads before, to take a look at some pictures of horse skulls. I know that sounds kind of creepy, but you really need to know what the shape of the skull is because horses have lots of bumps and lumps and hollows and divots in their skull. And if you don't know what's going on underneath the skin, then it's really hard to determine where to put those lumps and bumps. So if you'd like, I could also do a tutorial on how to draw a horse skull. That's kind of creepy. But if you'd like, if you think that would help you out, leave that in the comment section below and I'll see about putting that on the list to do a horse skull video. Creepy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle right for the very top of the horse's head. This is called the pole of the head. And I'm going to draw a line coming down the center of the horse's face. Just straight on down like this. So to determine how long this is, I'm going to go about three, maybe three and a half circles. So I'm going to go from here to here's one, two, three. So I'm going to go about three circles. And right at about the end of this first circle, I'm going to make my my mark, which I call my T mark. Because it makes kind of like the letter T, a little baby T. And this is my eye line here. This is where the eyes are going to go. So from the top of the head to here is about a circle length. And then from here to here is where the jaw goes. So the jaw is coming in right along the side here roughly parallel to the width of the eyes coming on down. And then from about this point here, it dents in just slightly. I mean, you don't want it to go You have a really skinny, weird looking horse, but just having it divot in just a little bit from the jaw. And again, we're drawing really lightly so that we can erase if we make, you know, if we need to change anything up or anything. All right, and then at this point here is where my nostrils are. Boom, boom, right here. Now, from this second point here, here's one, this is two. From this point here, I'm going to begin to do a layering. If you need a little bit more detail on how to create layering in your drawings, I did a video called How to Draw a Wolf Running Towards You, and I'll leave the link in the description box below. Um, and I really go into detail about how to create those layers, how to do overlapping. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to bring this nostril out. This is the top of his nose. This is kind of the bottom of his head and this is the top, so I'm gonna create that layer. I'm gonna have this come up and wrap around the nostrils. Then I'm gonna have it come down just a little bit with a little bit of a lip there and just a hint off his bottom lip. Okay, now for the pull of his head, right up here, right above this T line, it's going to start to arc out. This is where the eye socket is in the skull, and so it really kind of arcs out just a little bit and the eyes sit right in there and they're very much on the sides of the face. Don't put the eyes really close in here. All right, so they're gonna wrap that around the eye of the horse there, sitting right in there. And then kind of comes up towards this pole. Now there's this divot, this horses have this divot, they have their eye socket, but then they have another hollow in their skull right here. I'm not exactly certain what it's for. I'm sure if I was a veterinarian, I would know exactly what it's for, but there's a divot. If you pet a horse and you go above their eye socket, it's, it's, it's squishy, you know? I don't know, poke their brains or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's put in his ears. So for his ears, I'm going to put a really nice kind of arch right here. Depending on the breed of the horse, um, the arch will kind of change. Some horses have just really narrow ears that really point inward. Some have really big ears that kind of point outward. Um, so that just determines on what type of horse you have. Right now he looks like an angelic horse. He has like this halo. Oh, God sent me with a message to tell you that he loves you. Yes, angel horse. Thank you. Anyway. So what this, what this helps me do is to get the shape of my ears and make sure they're both pretty accurate in size. So this is the outside of the ear coming around and then I have this little tip coming in. All right, so we have everything pretty much blocked in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my eraser and erase the things that I don't need anymore and then I'll be back in just a few seconds and we will finish up some detailed lines. All right, so I have my lines pretty cleaned up. And again, that's why we draw really lightly, so it's easier to erase our lines and get back to a nice clean slate here. And I didn't put the circles in for the nose because I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the shape of the nose, so let's look at that. So his nose, if you look at it, is this kind of curved in paisley shape or a teardrop shape that curves in. And it, so it starts off kind of 
full at the bottom and then curves in towards the top. And as a horse runs and has to breathe more, his nostrils will flare. So if you see him resting, this is really going to be a little bit more shallow. Whereas if you have a horse running, you're going to really flare this out and really um, allow him to take in a lot of oxygen. And I just kind of shade that in just a little bit. Alright, so a couple final details here is I'm going to put in a little bit of some of the bumps and lumps that he has in his skull up here. And again, this just comes from knowing what's going on in the skull to be able to know where these bumps and lumps are. I'm going to add some shading into his eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my shine. I'm going to put a little bit of the eyeball, but actually really everything except for the shine gets shaded in. And depending on how much of a realistic eye you want to have in there, you could put in the pupil, um, leave a little extra shine in there, whatever you want to do. I have a playlist on how to draw horses, and it just takes you through all of my videos that I have on drawing horses, so you can just just start with it and just have fun. So I'll leave the playlist actually, that's probably what I will do. Leave the playlist there and that'll give you a listing of all the videos that I do on how to draw horses. And if there is a certain type of horse that you'd like to see or a position or a horse doing something that I haven't done a picture of, um, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Um, horses are usually one of my one of my all-time most popularly requested videos, so I always have a horse video coming up. Um, usually at least once a month have a horse video times twice um, so definitely leave those comments in there so what I'm going to go and do is just finish up and make in some shading and then add his forelock um, but before I do that I want to decide if he has any kind of pattern on his face and this part you want to do really really lightly um, so there's several different types of patterns you can have just kind of a small pattern towards the top between his eyes this is called this uh, star um, or you can have the star and have it kind of come down a little bit it's a stripe or you can have it really, really wide coming all the way down. That's a blaze. Deciding what you want, but draw it out really, really lightly. That way it's easier to blend in and, and shadow in around there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him kind of a little stripe. And feel free to make it a little bit more organic. You know, don't have it to make it, you know, just straight lines. If you kind of give it a little jagginess, adds a little bit of interest, a little bit more realism. and added a little bit of the neck in the back there and um, I won't go into how to draw that in this video. I'll probably do a video on how to draw a horse standing um, looking straight on at you and talk about that in that video coming up sometime. But I wanted to finish off with um, talking about he's bald. <laughs> My poor horse has no mane. So talking a little bit about this and I have several videos um, talking about how to draw manes and things like that. But this part up here is called the forelock and it, and depending on the breed, some of the breeds have very small forelocks, some have extremely luscious, beautiful forelocks. But generally, if you just kind of draw this tapering shape coming down, um, it's meant to kind of keep the flies out of the eyes. Flies out of the eyes. And kind of just draw in the shape first. And then at the top, make sure that the, the forelock kind of comes out a little bit higher than the actual top of the head, um, just to give a little bit of volume. Once I have the shape drawn, then I kind of fill it in and I make my pencil go in the direction of how the hair would grow. I'm not trying to draw every individual hair, but by creating my pencil or having my pencil go in that direction is going to create that texture. So you'll see I'm just striking my pencil across there to kind of add that add that illusion of hair going in there. And you also don't fill it all the way in. I, I leave a little variance and that adds just a little bit of volume as well to the hair. Another trick you can do is you can take your eraser and just kind of tap it along there and it adds just a little bit of a shine. And you can also, once you have it all done there, just have a wild hair come out. 
every once in a while. Just not overdo it, otherwise he looks like he has a bad main day. Um, just that. And you can do the same thing with, you know, a little bit of the main kind of showing through, maybe blowing in the wind a little bit. I have the wind, main going this way, so a little bit of wind there. So I'm going to create just a little bit of that. And again, just making my pencil follow the direction of how the, the, the hair is growing helps to add that in there. Just like that. So there we go. We have a finished picture. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was helpful for you. I would love to see the pictures of your horse head. So make sure to post those on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I'll leave the links to those in the description box below. Bye! Me!